Uh, PGM 9837 here coming to you from uh, Spanaway, Washington and uh, today is uh, June 21st, it's approximately 12 15 around noon and uh, I'm out here in my front of my house and here's the downspout, one of the downspouts that's been replaced along the side of the corner of my house. This used to be just an aluminum but now it's, it's, a, it's a pipe, drainage pipe that's sealed at the bottom base of it. There's a cap on the bottom and it has a, um, a hose fitting so that a regular garden hose will fit in there. And I have a Y connector here which this hose goes to those three barrels up there that are on the deck and each barrel is plumbed and they're all connected with a garden hose and then I have um, garden hose fittings on those with those manifolds. So and then the other, other portion of that goes to um, the other pipe that's over there in this corner, which I'm going to show you. And I have some old weeds, weeds going on. I need to, need to get rid of There's my pears. So here's the other pipe here. Same thing, it's capped on the bottom. But that pipe doesn't have a Y connector, it just has a, a hose fitting that's going to that manifold right here. <clears throat> so both corners of my house are going to this manifold and then that center hose is running to the other corner of the of the house that has a pipe similar to this which is capped in place of the downspout. And then I have this um, bracket which is actually belongs to a um, which goes with a, um, a stove pipe and this was just available at Home Depot and then at the top see how the rain gutter is you know it drips into this and it fills this up actually will get really high and it'll fill the tank depending or the barrels whichever and here's my solar setup I get to see how much um, power I'm bringing in today Hopefully I'll get you a good view of that. And then on the roof, I have the two Siemens 55 watt and the two uh, sets of the Sunforce uh, 15 watt, 4 15 watt, 4 15 watt on each side of the building there. And I'm running this um, one horsepower pump, which is attached to this rain barrel, which is which this is filled up from the um, little roof of the building here. I have the same setup where I have the downspouts replaced with the capped pipes that are uh, drained into this barrel here. And then there's a little Y connector. The hoses meet. They're buried in, they're kind of buried in the ground. They meet together and they're joined up with a Y connector here. Which is this, this Y connector here. So this pipe here will fill and then I have this little barrel here which is being filled from this roof that's independent it's not connected to the system so I'll show you my current uh, my yard looks pretty nice this year got old ivy's really taken over Can't go wrong with solar, you know, it's gonna it's the way of the future. We're only gonna be able to get dead stuff out of the ground for so long. Ah, I'm fully charged. Almost, let's see. I'll turn my light on here. I got one of these going to my light. Yeah, I'm at uh, 13.6 or 13.7 volts. I'm bringing in probably could bring in a lot more amps if that was on full charge but it's on float mode right now basically I can run everything run a lot of stuff from you know running that running that we run this thing here and run my water pump for the hose I'm running that, running that, running that. Here. It, allow, it allows.
cost more power to go through when you're using it. Well, it's pretty good. I've got a lot of power I'm able to use. And then I have this over here that I'm using on the um, the inverters hooked up to right now, this pump. Harbor Freight one horsepower pump, which is hooked up to that barrel which is full of rainwater that comes off of that little roof right there. And that barrel is connected to this barrel also. So they both fill simultaneously and now I can water my garden with rainwater and that pump just turned on over there that's pretty cool actually it's you know a little pump the only problem was the one-way valve broke on that that came with it and I had to replace it which is like 12 bucks for that so they give you it's a real nice pump but it comes with some cheap you know a little cheap one-way valve because it restricts the water from from backing up is what it does I'm getting lots of pear apples here this year that's a pear apple. Something's wrong with my cherry tree. It's been it's been bleeding. So I don't know what I'm what it is. It might be some kind of disease that's making it uh, making the sap come out like that on it. See, it's kind of shrimp drying up there. So I need to you know take care, and figure out why it's doing that. Anyhow, PGM nine eight three eight seven signing off. Thanks for watching.